When a group of friends visited Disneyland for what was supposed to be a New Year's treat, they were expecting a day's fun at the so-called happiest place on earth. But a ride on the Matterhorn bobsled would leave one of the members dead in what would prove to be one of the most horrific and disturbing accidents in Disneyland history and would spark a lawsuit against the Walt Disney Corporation that would not be settled for more than four years. This is the story of the Matterhorn bobsled tragedy. Disneyland Park, originally and perhaps more fondly known as Disneyland, is the original Disney themed park opened in July of 1955. Built at the Disneyland Resort in Anaheim, Disneyland Park is owned and operated by the Walt Disney Company, created by brothers Walt and Roy Disney. Disneyland has become the world's most famous theme park and sees almost 20 million guests each year. The park is separated into nine themed areas. These are Adventureland, designed to recreate the feel of an exotic tropical place in a faraway region, New Orleans Square, based on 19th century New Orleans and home to the Pirates of the Caribbean and the Haunted Mansion. Then there's Main Street USA, this is where you'll find the iconic Sleeping Beauty Castle, Mickey Mouse Toontown, Frontierland, Critter Country, the Star Wars section, and then Fantasyland and Tomorrowland. It's on the border of Fantasyland and Tomorrowland where you'll find one of the park's most iconic and popular rides, the Matterhorn Bobsleds. Opened on June the 14th, 1959, the Matterhorn Bobsleds are modelled on the Matterhorn, a mountain on the border between Switzerland and Italy. The ride was built by Arrow Development and features two rides that run parallel and intertwined, simulating a bobsled race around the mountain. The Skyway Gondola also originally passed through the mountain. Throughout the roughly two and a half minute ride, riders reach a maximum height of 80 feet and a top speed of around 43 km per hour. There are up to 20 bobsleds consisting of two cars each. The bobsleds depart in roughly 30 second intervals, an important point later in the story. To hold riders in, at the time of the ride's opening, Disneyland used belts that slipped through a buckle which closed down on top of it with a friction fastener. These belts would come under the spotlight on more than one occasion, however. On January the 3rd, 1984, 48 year old Dolly Regina Young of Fremont visited Disneyland with five friends as part of a New Year's treat. At around 3.30pm, Dolly and her friends loaded into a bobsled at the base of the mountain. Young sat alone in the rear of the second car. At this point, before the ride departs, it's standard operating procedure for a Disney ride operator to inspect that the seatbelts of each passenger is correctly fastened. This should always be done twice before the ride departs. It's worth noting that at the time of Dolly's visit, due to a recent law change in California, Guest safety was completely unregulated, but was instead left up to the parks themselves to self-regulate. Back in 1984, the Skyway gondola used to pass right through the Matterhorn, and riders aboard the gondola could catch glimpses of passengers riding the bobsleds below them. Dolly and her friends were roughly one minute into the ride on the bobsleds when the gondola, carrying a family of three, Don Pishner and his two daughters, began passing through the Matterhorn. As one of the daughters looked down at the roller coaster, she screamed and said, Oh my god, someone fell out of that car. Her father looked down and saw that Dolly had fallen out of the bobsled and was now bouncing along the track. Although Dolly was bruised and shaken, for the moment she was okay and she tried to get up to remove herself from harm's way. Watching in horror from the gondola above, Don yelled at his two daughters to look away as he spotted the next bobsled fast approaching Dolly. A Canadian family were riding in the oncoming bobsled. For a moment, they thought the person lying on the tracks was a prop. As they got closer, however, the horrifying reality set in. At almost full speed, the bobsled struck Dolly, killing her instantly and trapping the bobsled on top of her in what can only be described as a scene from a horror movie. Sensing a bobsled was stuck, the ride automatically shut down. 
that, combined with screaming, alerted riot operators that something had gone horribly wrong. A riot operator raced to the spot of the accident. Upon witnessing the nightmarish scene, he raced back down for help, at the same time warning fellow workers not to go look. When police arrived on the scene, they noted Dolly's seatbelt was open and lying on her seat. The question for police was, did Dolly undo her own seatbelt halfway through the ride, or had the ride operators fail to ensure it was done up before letting the ride depart? The Anaheim Police Department launched an investigation into the accident. Disney officials stated there was no chance Dolly could have left the start of the ride without having her seatbelt done up, and it was standard protocol for ride operators to check guests twice to make sure all seatbelts were fastened. However, Dolly's husband was unsatisfied with Disney's response. He stated, My wife was not a frivolous or daring person. She was not some young kid that would have stood up on the ride. He was adamant Dolly would not have undone her own seatbelt halfway through the ride. It would turn out that the incident was not the first of its kind on the ride. Almost exactly 20 years earlier, in May of 1964, just five years after the ride opened, 15-year-old Mark Maple was riding the Matterhorn when he also fell from the ride. He first struck his head on the side of the mountain before tumbling over the side. He sadly died four days later. In this case, just like in Dolly's, Disneyland insisted the victim had undone their own seatbelt. In the weeks following Dolly Young's death, Disneyland completely replaced the seatbelts used on the Matterhorn, opting for an entirely different kind of belt. However, Disneyland insisted the change had nothing to do with the accident. Dolly's husband would file a $5 million wrongful death lawsuit against Disneyland, claiming the ride operators allowed the ride to depart the station without checking Dolly's seatbelt. Allegations Disneyland denied. It was reported that at the time of the incident, Disneyland defended around 50 cases of negligence each year, with the vast majority settled out of court. Four years after the accident, and with threats from Dolly's husband to release pictures of the accident, Disneyland sought an out-of-court settlement with Dolly's family, with both parties barred from discussing any details. Since the deaths of Mark Maple and Dolly Young, and the changing of the ride's seatbelts, there have been no further fatal incidents on the Matterhorn at Disneyland.